Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech, and today I'm going to show you how to install an earlier version of iPhone firmware on your iPhone. So that means if you want to install 3.1.3, you'll be able to do that with this tutorial. Now I showed you how to downgrade from 4.0 before. Uh, this is not that tutorial, just check that one out. Uh, this one is the actual, for those people that are getting that error that says you're not verified or something along those lines with the uh, Apple server. So since this is an older version of firmware, you should be able to allow, well, be allowed to install it, but because you can't, this will help you out. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go and open terminal on a Mac. So once you've got that open, what you're going to do is type in sudo space pico, p-i-c-o, space slash etc or etc slash hosts. You're going to hit return. Now keep in mind, this is a super user uh, account. You could really screw things up if you don't do this exactly uh, how I'm showing you. Do not delete anything in the uh, file and do this at your own risk. Uh, feel free to ask me questions, but if you mess it up, I'm sorry, it's not my fault. Uh, just wanted to get that out of the way to begin with. So go ahead, put in sudo pico etc hosts, hit return or enter. It's going to ask you for your password for your Mac. If you don't have a password, you're just going to hit enter. Uh, and what you'll get is your host database. So what you're going to do is you're going to use your arrow keys and arrow down to the bottom line, below the bottom line anywhere. And what you're simply going to do is type in 74.208.105.171 space gs.apple.com. Dot com. And what you're doing is you're telling this, instead of looking at Apple's servers to verify, you're looking at Cydia's server to verify. And uh, they're the ones that do all this, the uh, different jailbreaks and things. Uh, but they've been nice enough to allow us to use the firmware of our choice on, on the iPhone. Now, I do like the iPhone, but still, you should be able to use whatever you would like on it. Uh, so go ahead and put that in once you've done that. You can simply hit Control X to exit, and before you do that, it's going to say Save Modified Buffer. You'll hit Y for Yes, and you'll be done. And that's all you need to do. Now you'll be able to install that earlier firmware. Well, if you're downgrading from 4.0, though, keep in mind you're going to have to do another process of going into the terminal, downloading a couple programs, and doing a few steps. So if you need to do that, see my other tutorial. So uh, if you once you're done and you don't want to point to this server anymore, you can simply do this in reserve, or I'm sorry, reverse. Uh, you'll do that by going into the terminal, putting in uh, sudo pico etc hosts, bringing up your host file, and removing that line, exiting, saving, and you'll be all set. I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. This is Aaron with Zolotech. I'll see you next time.